Okay, in the previous uh, in previous videos, we've taken a look at uh, for loops and while loops, and basically ways of iterating over um, over vectors. What we're going to see, uh, and we've also seen how to do if statements. But if you remember, when we looked at if statements, we also saw the if else function um, that could be applied to a, a vector. And I said that that's much fa a much faster way of doing things in R. Well, in a similar vein, um, there are much faster ways of iterating over things in R. Um, and they're all variations of the apply function. So you've got apply, l apply, s apply, and m apply. Uh, so we're going to take a look at those um, now. So we haven't actually seen um, we haven't actually seen the uh, a, a type of data uh, a type of object called a matrix um, before. Uh, well, that's not quite true. We saw it when we were looking at uh, correlations that we needed to, to put things in, in matrix form. So we're going to take a look at that again. I don't want us to worry about it too much for now. So I'm just going to create a little object. I'll, I'll do it over here. So maybe it's a bit bigger. Uh, create a little object um, as a... So it starts off as a vector from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And um, we tell it that it's a matrix. So this is a matrix that will have these values and it's going to have dimensions 2 and 3. So if we run that, if we take a look at math, we've got a 2 by 3 matrix um, going by via columns. All right. And now the general syntax of apply is that it applies to a matrix, so math, and you simply tell it uh, in what dimension. So let's tell it in the first dimension, and we want to apply the function mean to it. So if we get that, what you see comes out is 3 and 4. Um, and that is just that average there. Um, 5 plus 3 plus 1 is 9. 9 divided by 3 is indeed 3. And, and similarly down there. If we change that to be apply um, mat in the second dimension eh, and use mean, we're now getting these column means. 3 divided by 2 is indeed 1.5. And finally, we, we can actually say, actually, I want you to do it in, in all uh, the dimensions. So mat. Um, 1 to 2 and apply mean. Now that obviously doesn't give you anything interesting, right? You get the um, you get the same uh, values because you're just carrying the mean of, of the same values. But if you took a square root for example there and you applied that, then it's basically just putting the square roots on every single element in there. So that's the apply function and um, you know, it's often easier to actually use the L apply function. The L apply function simply applies applies a function to a one-dimensional object called a list, um, uh, and that's often very useful because you because a, a data frame is actually a list where the um, elements in that in that data in that list are just the columns. So you can apply a function to all columns of a data frame very easily. Um, but let's just take a look at how that works. So L apply and we'll, we'll do this from the vector from 1 to 6. So that's actually the exact same vector up there, but just remember we can use that, that little notation. And we want to apply the square root function. If we run that, that actually pulls it out. But again, it pulls it out. All those things are there. But that's actually list format, which we're not quite used to reading. So you can actually use the unlist function there. And if we run that, we get what we're used to. Um, the S apply. Uh, is is actually very similar. So s apply from one to six square root. That is actually just a wrapper of the l apply function, but it 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 just outputs the most appropriate um, class. So if we run that, we're putting in a vector, so it spits out a vector. Now, um, there's all the m apply that I mentioned. That's the multivariate version of this. In other words, we can give it multiple ver uh, variables. So to do that, we're going to create a little a little function. Let's call it simple function. We saw how to create functions in a previous video. So simple function, and I'm just going to do this all on one line: x and y, and um, x divided by y. Now there's no return statement because it's the last thing that was calculated, so it will just by default return that. So um, if I now do simple function of 1 divided by f 1 and 4, sorry, it gives me 0.25, right? Um, 
and then I can do the m apply, and I can say apply simple function to two vectors, the vector from 1 to 4 and the vector from 4 to 1. And that's given me uh, what we expect. So 1 divided by 4, then uh, 2 divided by 3, um, then 3 divided by 2, and finally 4 divided by 1 to give 4. Now that's all great, right? This is very powerful, and, and these things are extremely fast. But um, what we're going to even show is how we can speed up some code we wrote previously. Now, if you remember the the JJJ data set, we wrote some code previously to count how many total candles we used. Now, counting the number of candles that John's had in his lifetime is just summing every integer from 1 to his age, right? Um, so if I create a little function, my sum that takes in a variable, sorry, my sum, which is a function that takes in x and simply um, returns sum of 1 to x. So that's just summing the vector from 1 to x. And if I create that little function, so for example, my sum of 15 is 120. You can go ahead and work that out. Um, we can now use a function, we'll just use s apply to get these ages. So the, the number of candles, jjj dollar age, and we can just say apply my sum to 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 that. Alright, so that's taking an age, running that function, and that's actually doing it extremely efficiently. Um, importantly, we don't actually need to define the function outside. So we can say jjj dollar age and now we just say, all right, a function of x, which is actually the sum from 1 to x. So we don't ever name that function, but we just have the function keyword in there. And if we run that, we get the same result. And so that is um, how to iterate over uh, vectors in, um, in R. Um, and you have these, uh, these, so you have apply, L apply, S apply, M apply. There are even more. Uh, but the, the, those four should be enough to, to get you started, and there are ways of iterating over things extremely fast, and they make use of functions.